In a forest lived a rather rickety mouse. He was so afraid of the fox, the wolf, and even himself, for that matter, that if the wind blew and a branch cracked, he looked around for a hole he could hide in. Because of this, all the little animals made fun of him. <laughs> How scared is he? You're even scared of the wind. You're so scared. You're, You're so, so scared. scared. You're so scared. <laughs> One day, the mouse got his act together and went over to see the king of the jungle, the lion. The lion had just finished having his lunch. He was taking a nap in front of the cave. The mouse's friends were all curious as to what the mouse had planned. The mouse started to climb up the lion's tail. He got up on the lion's back. With a very confident look on his face, he posed to his friends. Although he was very scared, he was doing everything in his hand not to make it obvious. Right at that moment, the lion woke up. And as he shook his fur, the mouse fell off. The mouse and the lion came eye to eye. All the other animals were worried. Oh no, the lion will swallow the mouse. What nerve, what courage. What are you doing on my back? Kick out the jungle. Please don't eat me. Uh, I'm the most scared of the most swallowable of them all. But life passes on by shaking with fear. If a leaf falls off of the tree, I'm scared. I'm fed up with this. I want to get rid of this fear. You're the king of the jungle. With just one big roar, the animals fear you. Would you consider taking me into your custody? The lion listened to the mouse in silence. The mouse was wondering what his reply was going to be. <laughs> and why should I help you? Give me one good reason as to why I shouldn't eat you. Your help will be returned, I promise. Maybe one day I will help you. As soon as the mouse finished what he had to say, the lion roared in such a way. How can such a tiny mouse as yourself be of any help to me? But seeing the tiny mouse shaking in front of him, the lion decided not to eat him. Thank God I am full. Now get out of my sight. The mouse ran and got away from there. Watching all that was happening from afar, the friends of the mouse were really surprised. Some time had passed by, the lion got hungry and started wandering around in the forest. But he could not notice the hunter's trap and got caught. He was hung in the air in a big net. He tried to break free from the net, but he could not do it. He was the king of the forest, so if he could yell for help, he would be humiliated. And all the hunters would hear him and come to get him faster. Being out of options, he began to wait. Meanwhile, the other animals living in the forest noticed the lion. But nobody could dare get close to him. When he was passing by, Little Mouse saw the lion and he decided to help him. He went directly next to him. He started to climb the lion's long tail and when he reached the net, he began to chew on it. At that moment, the bunny came running next to them. Hey buddy, hurry up, the hunters are coming. 
The other animals who were gathered around suddenly started to run around when they heard the word hunter. But the mouse kept on chewing with persistence. In the end, the net was torn apart and the lion fell down and got away. Come on, jump on my back. Let's get out of here. The mouse jumped on the lion's back and they got away from there. All breathless, the lion arrived in front of his cave. He kneeled down and the mouse jumped off. When you told me that one day you might be able to help me, I underestimated you. I thought you were a tiny mouse with no use at all. But you saved my life. Thank you. It's my pleasure, my king. You don't have to be afraid of me anymore. In fact, you do not need to fear anything because you're a very courageous mouse. If I am the king of the jungle, from now on, you are my courageous prince. Lion and the mouse began to laugh. <laughs> All the animals watching all that was happening from afar came out and applauded the courageous mouse. The lion and the mouse became best friends and the forest lived in peace forever. One day a mouse who lived in the city went to visit his friend. His friend had left the city a while back and began to live in the country. After his long journey, the city mouse had finally arrived next to his friend in the village. This place smells awful. How do you live in such a place? After a long and tiring walk, the city mouse finally arrived at his friend's field. The country mouse had made himself a house under the ground. This is where he lived. How does my friend live in such a bad environment? I still don't understand. The city mouse knocked on the door. The country mouse opened the door. He was very surprised and at the same time, he also was very happy to see his friend. Welcome, my friend. What brings you to this side of the town? I was bored from the city life. I've been meaning to come and see you and the way you live for some time now. But I can see that you're not all that happy. Says who? Why don't you come inside and I'll prepare something to eat? They both came in. The city mouse was amazed to see the inside of his house because the country mouse was living in a dark, small, airless little hole. What a dark and tiny home you have. How do you live here? The country mouse had prepared something for his friend to eat. On the table were a piece of cheese, lettuce, carrot and kernels of corn. Come on, my friend. Enjoy this dinner. The city mouse had a look at all that was on the table and said, You call this a feast. Back where we live, the mice won't turn and have a second look at this type of food. We have cakes, pastries, variety of cheese and meat. You can find anything you desire in the city. After the city mouse had finished his meal, they began to walk around the country mouse's hometown. The city mouse did not like where the country mouse was living at all. These type of places are not for my liking at all. It's very dirty and boring. You must visit my hometown one day. I should take you around the city. You must see it. I'm sure you won't come back here. The following morning, the two friends said their farewells. Soon after they had parted, the country mouse decided to visit his friend in the city. And so he began his journey. After a long journey, he arrived in the city. The country mouse arrived at his friend's house according to his friend's directions. The city mouse was living in an apartment. The country mouse was shocked when he saw where his friend was living. This huge house is yours? Um, 
Not exactly. I'm sharing the house with the landlords. I'm very hungry. Show me that amazing feast you were talking about. The city mouse entered the kitchen, opened the fridge door, then took cheese, meat, and a variety of vegetables and fruit. He put them on the table, and as they began to eat, they heard a cat meowing. The city mouse jumped to say, Oh no, the cat of the house heard us talking. We must hide. Follow me. Both mice entered a hole in the wall and got away. Out of breath, the country mouse asked, You live in the same house with a cat? Isn't this dangerous? It sure is, but this is the price I have to pay if I want to live in luxury and wealth. After a short while, the cat left the kitchen and they came out of the hole and continued to eat. A while later, they heard the street door open and the city mouse panicked. Come on, hurry up and run. The landlord came. Run before she sees us. The mice ran back to the little hole and the country mouse, out of breath, asked once again. <laughs> this time, I don't know why we ran. The lady landlord, doesn't she know you live here? Of course she doesn't. People are very dangerous. How do you live in a house like this? Well, it has its days, of course, but I'm very happy living this way. Look at this. I can eat whatever I want, whenever I want. It's safe to go. Come on, let's continue eating. The country mouse got out of the hole, but as soon as he got out, he walked towards the door and began to complain. No, thank you, mister. I have lost my appetite. This much fear is enough for me. I'm leaving. Where are you going? I'm going back home. My house might not be rich. But I live in peace with my freedom. I'd rather live in peace and feel free than to live in fear all the time. And so the country mouse returned to his poor lifestyle and continued to live happily. And he never returned to the city ever again.